India is not really what it was. Yeah, we were just talking years about back. this. Do best and leave the rest. And you know, trust me, things always get better. Don't get demoralized looking yeah. at others. Everybody has their own time. Yes. And you know, enjoy the time you have. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, it, you have to work out. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's a said when you're leaving a country there. Oh yeah, life yeah. is always, I guess, it's a, it's a circle. The more we fight things, the more they'll boil on the surface. You let them be, everything settles down. And when you look back, you're like, wow, I've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, before we start the video, I just wanna give a small disclaimer that this is just an opinion. My mom is speaking from her experience and everyone's experience is completely different. So if you don't agree with something, that's completely fine. It's just an opinion. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Well, what is up guys? It's your girl Mayher. And this is my mother. Hey guys. She, we've wanted to film something together. Yeah, uh, for a long time. For a long time and just kind of get her thoughts down. So this is, that's that. We None haven't thought of anything. Yeah, she, none of us got dressed up or anything. I mean, she got out of her nightgown, but I'm pretty much not dressed for anything because this is my bed. Like, this is my mom's bed. Like, you think I'm going to get dressed up for this? No. And it's hot. <laughs> it is really hot. We have a fan right there. We just turned off the AC. Yes. We did, someone didn't get central air conditioning. Before we get started, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Meher's mom. No, you are your own person. I am, but here, basically, I'm your mom, and my name is Tinder. I used to work as a vice principal, as a teacher. A lot of experiences, a lot of different places I've uh, lived in. and uh, Yeah, talk guess, about that. Where you where did you live in mm. India? So I lived in Patna, mm -hmm. which is the capital city of Bihar, uh, till I was in grade ten. So mm -hmm. I would say I was like seventeen years old. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we moved to Lithiana, that's in Punjab, and uh, I lived here till I was twenty nine, thirty years old, and then I moved to Canada. Moved to Canada. Uh, and I am 50 now, uh, 51 She doesn't precisely. look like it, I know. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> um, so I'll say one third, one third, one third. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you've also lived in the Pind, the village in India. Uh, mm, not oh, like lived, childhood, yeah. you know, not just lived adventures there, but, and stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of my summer vacations, uh, my sister and I used to uh, live in the our my uh, mom's parents village and I was just very one of my happiest childhood memories there yeah and you tell me a lot about it do you feel like coming from such different places like for me like I'm born in Canada but you know I've grown up in an Indian household and I speak the language I feel like there's two worlds I live in, but mm -hmm. you like people don't understand that India is so diverse, and I've just started learning about that. Mm -hmm. That India is so diverse, and you know, each place has its own culture and mm -hmm. a cus customs. How do you feel like you adapted? Because you lived mm -hmm. in different places, and I'm sure, like, how did you adapt? What did you learn? I think uh, you know, being in India, you're in a micro world already mm -hmm. and staying as a sick girl mm. in a primarily Hindu province yeah. and I loved Bihar I mean it's my mm -hmm. homie <laughs> and uh, so studied in a convent school and we had uh, I was the only sick girl in my class wow. my whole entire grade and uh, we had many uh, pockets in Patna that were primarily uh, Islamic. Oh, okay. So, so I grew up in a very multicultural, mm -hmm. uh, multilinguist, hmm. ling language? lingual, multilingual, multilingual yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, province. So I think um, I kind of, and then coming to Punjab was like you know the whole Punjab uh, Delhi <laughs> vibe and. And then coming to Canada, I guess it was, uh, you know, you just learn how to, uh, you just take those different parts mm -hmm. and then just, uh, you know, uh, take them in and then 
you are all of it you are not this or this or that you are just yeah all of it i love that that's a really good message mm-hmm. for just to say like you don't have to just be one thing just oh, because no, you're no. just from one place or your nationality mm-hmm. is this i mean wherever you go you kind of embrace that place as your home yeah right okay Good. I love Canada. It's, it's such a uh, progressive country. It's a really nice place, yeah. And, you know, but expensive. It is expensive. But it's like no. that in any part of the world, I know. right? I know. And at least uh, I think here uh, you still have a middle class. Yeah. And uh, everybody can be at a certain, uh, uh, you know, level of... Um, comfort and economical like it economic. like right now yeah. i don't think so yeah, but i feel like it's for a while it's definitely yeah, it's, been it's, like yeah yeah lot i'm ta- i know what you're you saying know, ups 100%, and downs, right? 100%. but india it's more so like there is a lot of Class, difference yeah. you know you're either very very uh, uh very high up in yeah. in terms you're very very affluent or then you're little rich and then there are uh middle class and there is upper middle class lower middle class a lot of class and very very poor people who can't even uh, have their basic needs yeah so it's but just society wise i feel like people just are just finding their own truths and they're Mm -hmm. coming to terms even though we can say that like there's so much negativity going on but i Mm -hmm. do think that there's also a lot of positivity going on as well we just don't seem to notice it's a time when you know like it's a pot yeah. You put it on heat and the water is boiling, boiling, boiling. So it's a time that I think everything is coming on the surface. Yeah. And now there'll be a time when you it'll cool down yeah. and, you know, everything will take its own spot. Yeah. So right now it's, uh, uh, it's positive, but at the same time... Yeah. I think that's just life, though. Like, it's not going to be all 100% positive, but it's not going to be 100% negative either. Oh yeah, life yeah. is always. I guess it's a, it's a circle. Yeah, you start off somewhere and uh, you know kind of land up at the same point, and uh, it's it's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, whatever it is, we guys all need to embrace it. Embrace it and uh, just accept new things, new experiences, and uh, move on. And the more we fight things, uh, the more they'll. Um, they'll boil on the surface you let them be everything settles down wisely said obviously yeah but i had this question though and i asked you i'm like you come from like indian background and you know and i'm bringing this up again because you know i also never asked you this but i was like you know when you decided to like have kids here and like how did you think that you were going to parent like what do you th- what aspects of like your upbringing were you going to bring into us or what aspects were you not going to bring into us and it doesn't have to go too deep but Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i think i i just you know i think i'm very rooted in my cultural culture Mm, my background and i've assimilated uh the 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 values of the canadian system and I saw, I think there was never a conflict between uh, uh, should I bring them the Canadian way, the Indian way. It had to be a very m- beautiful, uh, you know, like a mix of this, like a blend of that. Yeah. So we knew that uh, we were giving you the traditional, the cultural values mm-hmm. of uh, what it takes to be uh, called an, uh, uh, an Indian. Mm. And uh, at the same time, you know, um, grow up. Uh, how you can blend it in a Canadian system. So there was never a thought of, why are you going to be Canadian or are you going to be Indian? It was just a perfect blend. Blend And then you, it it has to be in harmony. And so I never really thought that we are going to have this problem. It's just, when you try to, a lot of us have come from India and India has uh, changed yes it's, it's uh, progressed. developed progressed yes. or changed a lot since uh, a lot of us came you know and but a lot of us are so uh, s- we want to preserve that indianness that we have s- got stuck in the time capsule hmm. and then that brings a conflict between uh, 
you know what your where your children are growing up and versus the time that you came from yeah. but india is not really what it was yeah we were just talking about years this back. a few years so ago so it's 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 growing organically and ev- east and west are very very similar lot of things so that's when the conflict comes where you put yourself in a tight uh, time capsule and you want you have those values the rigid system but it will automatically clash with where you're right now yeah being we all need to grow we all need to have an open mind and we need to just you know take new things as they come and what you like just take them in yeah. don't be too fixated on who you are yeah. just be uh, talk about what who are you what you are mm-hmm. being right now and what are you going to be yeah so i think don't worry too much about where you are and what you're going to be just stay in the moment see what you like take it something is not working for you just leave it behind and yeah. some values that are not anything some traditions that are not working for you uh, ways of life i mean they're not working for you just slowly uh, ebb out of them and take things that are working for you and then it will be a wonderful uh cocktail cocktail <laughs> we say that because we've been watching um vanderpump this Blue. reality show vanderpump like my best friend got me stuck on it i stuck on it and a oh lot of bartending a lot of that. bartending a lot of drama and we love drama so yeah, oh, everybody period. loves drama especially in canada there's a lot of immigrants that come here and you yourself have kind of i want to say struggled but you have kind of um you, you know, to find your niche. Yeah, you, you've come. You've come here. Like you've mm-hmm. ca- came here and immigrated. Yeah, two thousand. What would you? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> two thousand. Whenever mm-hmm. you came here, um, what would you like to say to people that are kind of maybe missing their home, maybe kind of mm-hmm. having a hard time assimilating? I know I've a- I kind of, kind of asking you the same same things, but I know they're important. But just kind of to be specific on like especially students students mm-hmm. come here and it's really hard for them to like leave their parents behind mm-hmm. their parents have spent so much money on them or i'm not sure the situation but you know whatever it may be mm-hmm. they come here and mm-hmm. just it's hard for them i see it like and sometimes they may be treated differently you never mm-hmm. like i've seen it happen but i don't know but about everybody else's experiences but i just want to know like what can you what would you say to them cuz you were a student here too you came here yeah I think first thing I would really uh want to raise say kudos to children who leave everything and come here and their spirit is very very positive. Mm-hmm. Keep that spirit but you should not feel pressurized by looking at others that you uh want to achieve this, you want to have your car, you want to have a house by this time. It's okay to have goals, but don't be uh don't get demoralized uh looking at others everybody has their own time yes and you know enjoy the time you have mm-hmm. yes of course it you have to work out yeah. i mean uh, that's a said when you're leaving a country there yeah when uh, number one thing i said don't get demoralized looking yeah. at others everybody if i'm here it's after 23 years so uh you already born in this setup so their kids who are coming here they're new yeah. a lot of them uh from uh you know not that very very rich families it's just just uh have friends make sure you have uh uh people that you can talk to have a have a social life have a community life you know have a community of friends that you can hold on to and don't be shy to if you're feeling lonely if you're feeling upset or you're feeling you need to reach out to people and i think as a community we have a very very strong indian community here yeah. i think we need to make sure um that uh we can open our hearts ha- to hearts and houses or some that's something you know i've always been wanting to do do uh, some kind of you know have events of, uh, of students who are living in the neighborhood that they can get together and we can talk about it so that so that they you know we can uh, sort of uh, i'm just thinking like have some student 
or some you know, teenager who's coming attached to at least one individual here uh. so that you know when they're having uh, like a buddy you know Canadian oh, buddy yeah. so that when they have an issue they know who they can Reach talk out to, to and then you know they can be a sort of a mentorship going on emotional mentorship going on these kids need it and yeah. it takes so little to just reach out mm. tell them that hey we are here for you we are mm. here for you if you need to talk to me mm. in a week time just call me or i'm here for you i'm sure there are a lot of our uh buzurg you know our, buzurg. Uh, yeah why you say it so like buzurg Dora, is like, um, like buzurg. Buz- <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, our elderly people yeah buzurg. or even uh you know we of in our 50s and 40s you know we can definitely uh, spare some time out and give your time yeah to students to each other because i think in this uh, country and especially here because we the system is like that we don't know what's happening in the next door sometimes oh, yeah. a lot of loneliness can creep in yeah and uh, so we need to open up uh, spaces we need to open up our hearts we need to open up our time so that we can have uh, adopt a student That's really cool. I never really heard you talk about that before. Cool. Yeah. Sick. Adopt a student. Mm. Adopt, say, uh, I guess, definitely, I think this has come up and, yeah. you know, there are a lot of uh, uh, organization like PICS and there are cultural society, you know, that works for oh, okay. a lot of different things like immigration, oh. uh, employment, <laughs> you know, and of course, for older people to it just a lot of uh, things and you know i'm not just naming one mm-hmm. so mm, uh, i'm sure if we uh, bring this forward as a plan and mm. uh, we have a lot of leaders who can take this up and we can take leadership in this and um, we can definitely reach there but keep going kids don't give up you're <laughs> already here and so keep going yeah Blah. and uh, <laughs> You got yeah. it. Yeah. You got it. And this yeah. is not just like students that come from India. Anywhere. 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 anywhere whether you're coming from Africa to America or you're going from America to Europe. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, wherever you come from, if you're... And this is for anybody. If you're just traveling, if you're moving to some place, you may feel lonely. Like, or if you're just feeling lonely in general. You don't have to. Sometimes it's not about talking yeah. about... about a particular issue it's just about getting, getting out. up and getting out yeah just go to a grocery store just say hello to people and you know hi how's your day going and you know you i am sure uh you know i always strike up conversations and everybody wants to talk yes you just have yes. to be a good listener yes. and sometimes you want to talk there are going to be people who listen to you yes and through that interaction you know you never know and it's just about um communicating there's interactions you need to know there are there's another human being out there yeah. sometimes when you talk for five minutes when something and there's gray clouds just shift over so just go out just uh if there is you don't have anybody to talk to go and find someone to talk to sometimes i get in a funk i'm home and you know i'm like okay i have a lovely family but sometimes you know when i need to go i just go out yeah. i i go out to a grocery store i got go to a, a garden place a nursery and it just uplifts me and i meet people and you know they everybody's wants to say with the moment you say hi people just open up to you 100% yeah. i've seen that yeah. i kind of still get nervous to talk to people um but anytime i'll see her talk to someone everybody will just be like oh and then they'll be like oh okay like you're asking mm-hmm. me about my day and they really like well everybody get uh, into wants it. to uh be asked about the day yeah. and uh, you know just uh, i guess just just go out do things okay This is the last question. Okay. Because we might run out of storage. And mm. I just kind of... I just wanted to kind of ask you. You know, like, we've always had these talks. And I don't really talk about vulnerable things on any of my social media. It's like, mm-hmm. it's hard to, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like with you, I feel more brave to do it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is just something that, you know, maybe we could put... And maybe someone will resonate with it, you know? So... If you ever resonate with this, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, and, and of course, uh, if there's something you want to talk about, 
and or you have no one to talk about you know write to us and to we would love to we would love to get back to you and maybe give you that space she will space. because i'm not an experienced person <laughs> to and, anything uh, no you're pretty good thanks don't discount yourself and you know uh we are there for each other and yes, sometimes it's seriously. about just uh you have no one to talk to and there's something you want to talk to uh just let us know i will be there i have a lot of time yeah I feel very proud that you're my mother and I say this all the time. I'm going to say it on camera. Every time like people that know her meet her. And I'm not saying that even to hype her up like honestly like we we humble each other. Let's be honest. Yeah, but right away. We humble each other, but you know, I see people that really you've mentored as an edu- educator and even students that you've mentored and everything and they really have such good things to say about you even when you're not there i've met people at parties at events at places where they'll just know you and i'll just be like to know how much you've impacted other people just by being i think it's just being there for just people. being there like people take take for granted how much just being there can do for a person not you don't have to give them a bugatti you don't have to give them anything you just got to be there and be a person and listen to them and you really do that and i love i want to learn that quality to build people up you know and uh, i want to learn that quality from you yeah i think you have it uh it's just when someone is uh talking to you just uh just listen and i guess uh just build people up just build them up and uh, no matter where you are at what point of life uh, everybody needs a little pat on the shoulder yeah everybody needs to hear you're doing okay you'll be fine and you need to show others that there is you could be having a little tough time but it is going to get better and it always does yes you have to uh it's let true. your spirit shine and yeah uh, just be there be there <laughs> be there yeah um okay last question before i got carried away is what's the number one thing you learned from all your struggles every trauma everything that you went through from a kid to now what mm. have you learned one thing condensed mm. be in the moment all right okay now i want you to kind of elaborate because people, people are gonna be like that's such a cliche like, uh, thing no it's really like uh number one you're responsible for your own happiness like no let me put it like that your number one priority should be you yeah it it doesn't mean that you're selfish well call it selfish if you're not happy with yourself and you cannot ever make anybody happy so your number one priority should be you your inner child needs to be nurtured make sure what's what's inside that that's inside you that's uh that's uh not happy what does it want give it a tight tug and you know just just always know things are going to work out sometimes when things are not in your hand you just got to do what you're doing what you can do and then just leave the re- rest do your best and leave the rest and you know trust me things always get better always get better if He's you speaking from experience yeah, if you know if you break life into little pieces in little days and parts of the day and say okay i'm going to only worry about this half an hour these 10 minutes let me do something that's going to make it a little bit uh, a creative moment for me a little bit nice moment for me do something like go out it's sometimes it's it's very hard to get out of bed but just do it oh, yeah. just do it L- live for little portions of life and yes. you know and slowly you'll realize the day is today is better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today and when you look back you're like wow i've come a long way mhm so it's not about uh, uh life is going to be happy moments sad moments but try to be uh try to be peaceful it's it's a long thing it took me a lot of time to get there but you know you i can guess, always practice yeah it. and and it's it's something what i've taken in my 50 years of life is 
just uh, yes it's good to be ambitious it's good to have a drive but at the present moment whatever you're doing your best and try to be happy enjoy where you are you know feel it breathe just be there and love it and do your things just relax chill and, and you don't have to be on a vacation to chill no, i've learned no. that like i always thought that if i just went somewhere i'd be fine but the no. thing is if you are not okay right now no matter where you're going you're not going to be okay then you're not either. you're going to take your mind and you're going to take your heart with it yeah so, seriously seriously and sometimes when you go on a vacation i need to have another vacation to get over the my vacation, vacation. <laughs> yeah so uh uh it's just the simple things really valuing. very very simple things enjoy when you get up in the morning enjoy your shower yeah. feel the water on your body when you make your tea enjoy that whole process oh hell yeah process is very important yeah have you enjoy every cup of sip that a uh, cup of tea enjoy every sip of tea, tea. that you have okay okay, okay yeah. uh when you're going out if it's a very hot day feel the hot heat it sucks yeah it, but, but when it it's what keeps you grounded you know you got to feel that yes uh just when you out see the greenery see the beauty touch the flowers feel the air you know and just be grounded okay Da-da-da. queen okay queen all right well that's i think uh, our i don't know where what's the topic of this podcast there's no we, topic you just got to uh, go with the flow yeah. i'm taking your advice yeah I think we've covered some cool things that I think people would like to n- Yeah, it's it's uh it's my learning. It's uh, what I've learned. And it doesn't necessarily d- yeah. have to apply to everybody. Yeah, everybody yeah. It's just her experience. And yeah, whatever we say, it's, we're not saying you have to do this or you have to do this. It's just kind of like what a nice suggestion. What worked for me? What worked for her? It may not work for you, but that's and all I've right. And I've been through a lot of struggles. So, it worked for me and uh, just letting go of things and it's hard but you have to still try let go live in the moment enjoy do your best leave the rest and Things enjoy take care of itself Masti. they have a way of musti karo <laughs> yeah yeah the wrap of our conversation conversation I, number one it's very number one it's very scrambled i apologize but we're just going with the flow we're on my mom's bed like it's not something polished it's just honest conversations about her experiences i haven't talked about anything with me but it's just a, mm-hmm. like i wanted to kind of get your input and take on it who knows maybe we'll get nanny on it <laughs> oh oh she's never she gonna has, stop talking <laughs> she'll have lots to say just kidding but she's a very strong woman as well and i learned from the best strong and flexible and flexible yes mm-hmm. very adaptable to life yeah. um Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next. Take care. Maybe yeah. This see you guys next. Let us know if you want to talk about if you, if you want her to talk about something or you need advice or anything, whatever. Just let us know. Or you want us to talk about something. I can or talk something. about clothes. Talk about clothes, I anything. I can talk about jewelry. Oh yeah, we know you can talk days on days on that. So let's just <laughs> calm down on that. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.